Hey, let's talk about moving your avatar's viewpoint after you've created your avatar. You may want to do this if your viewpoint is inaccurate or not precise, or you want to just change it up. Sometimes you might be seeing inside your head or various parts of hair or other features of the avatar, and you might want to move the viewpoint just so it's better. This comes up a lot when people sort of put their hands to their face and they look in the mirror and they see they're actually not touching their face. They're touching sort of, you know, in front of their face or inside their face, etc., and they want to fix that. Let me show you how to fix that. To start with actually though, I'm gonna show you how this problem actually gets created in the first place. And that's to show you the avatar creator just one more time. This isn't an avatar creation tutorial, so we're not gonna go over the actual process of doing it, but I'm gonna talk about a little bit about how this, this problem occurs. If you need help on creating an avatar, there is links in the video description to videos on creating avatars. So here you'll see that we've got the head point kind of located where it needs to be. When you're creating an avatar, you move the head point here to where the head should be. And it's actually these two circles here, which define where the viewpoint's gonna start from. So this will probably be about right for this avatar and then I'll hit create avatar and then it would be uh, there and then you'd end up with a viewpoint that looks like this. You know, we're seeing out the front of the avatar, there's no problems, um, we can you know, control everything, we can see everything, nothing's occluding our view. But what if we did this wrongly? What I've actually got to the left of this is I've got an avatar where I've deliberately modified the viewpoint such that it's incorrect. So if I go into this avatar here, by the way these avatars are the um, Hyena avatars made by Dan Hyena and Saifi. Um, they're a great uh, resource for just, you know, simplistic avatars that are really easy to show this, um, this problem off. They're also quite expressive. If you want to create one of these in Neos, you can go to the Build a Yin World, which I made a long time ago, um, and it allows you to sort of customize things such as colors, etc., and build your own Yin. They're quite good. There'll be some links in the video description to the files for them as well. So here you can see I'm in this avatar and I'm looking sort of towards the back of the head here and that's because I've moved the viewpoint really, really far back and that's incorrect. So let's go ahead and fix this. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and quit my avatar again and I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you'll need here is, I don't know which one's which now. That's the correct one. So let's put this over here. And I know that's the that's the broken one there. So to do this, what we need is just a developer tooltip here. So I'm going to equip the developer tooltip and I'm going to inspect the avatar. So I'm going to aim the laser at the avatar, hit secondary, and then open inspector. And then we want to hit this big up arrow to go to the root of the avatar here. And here on the root of the avatar, you're looking for this slot here called head proxy on the left. With head, pro head proxy located, you can expand that. And you'll see inside that is target. This is the object that we want to move to change that viewpoint. So I'm going to select target here. And you'll see that it is uh, here. We can then use the gizmos here. And there'll be a link in the video description to a uh, gizmo tutorial if you're more familiar with that, uh, that much with these gizmos. But we'll just be using one part of the gizmos today, which is the movement part of it. Um, we can now move around this target slot here to a better position to uh, change the viewpoint here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this uh, this viewpoint back a little bit. The uh, direction that you need to move it is basically sort of trial and error. I know in this case that I need to move it backwards, but for another avatar, basically keep moving that uh, target point around, keep re-equipping the avatar until it's good. So I've moved that a little bit, I've moved it back a little bit, let's re-equip the avatar and see where we're at. Okay, we're almost back to where we are, but um, you might not be able to see this in the video. I can still see the majority of the hair on the avatar. So let's go ahead and re-equip mine. And then I can just go ahead and send this back just a little bit more, re-equip the avatar, and there we go. I've now fixed this viewpoint. I'm now looking outside of the avatar. If I go ahead and I uh, bring this camera closer so I can see, I'm now you know touching the face. Everything's lined up perfectly. Um, that's how you can move your viewpoint. Like I said, it is trial and error. Please go ahead and you know move that target point that I showed you backwards and forwards, move up and down, side to side, re-equip the avatar each time you do that. And uh, before long, you'll have the viewpoint exactly where you need it to be. So that's how to move the viewpoint. You can check the video description. In the video description, I've got uh, a link to a video where I talk about moving the hand points, which is something else you might want to move just to sort of fit your avatar together. Additionally, there'll be a link in the video description to a video by Jax where they talk about fitting the avatar in other sort of reams like how, how tall it is, how it stands, etc. Stuff like that. With all of those videos combined you should be able to fix an avatar up that's just not playing nicely when you've got it equipped. Let me know if you have any questions or moving your viewpoint I'll be happy to help you and I'll see you next time.